Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a Spotify case study. So this case study was given as home assignment in one of the startup, and I found it very interesting. And these kind of case studies you can expect in product based companies and startups. This is a new things have started that they give take home assignment. You can do it and submit it, right? So very interesting question. There are five questions we are going to solve, and each with each question difficulty level will increase. Okay, so please watch till end. Also, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, please share the videos with your friends. It will help them in cracking SQL interviews and understanding the SQL. So let's start. Let's spend two minutes to understand the data. So this activity table shows the app installed and app purchase activities for Spotify app along with the country details. So in the Spotify app, there are two activities users are doing. Either they are installing the app for the first time or they can do a purchase right they can have a premium spotify account and whatever they can do a purchase so spotify is tracking these two activities so event name is the activity it can either be app installed or it can either be app purchase and this is the country so for example user id 1 on the 1st of january this guy installed the app and on the second there is the app purchase for user id 2 there is only app installed there is no app purchase he never purchases anything right for example, user ID 6, this guy purchased and installed on the same day, right? So this is a pretty straightforward table. Uh, I think table is clear, right? So let's move on to the questions one by one. So initial two questions are simple and then next two are medium complex. The last one is quite critical, uh, complex question. Okay, so let's start. So here's our first question. One total active users each day. So how many active users are there each day, right? So what I'm going to do, active users means either user, either user have installed the app or purchased. Any activity will be considered as this is a active user for that given day. So for example, for first, if you see, for first we have these three, right? So user ID 1, 2 and 3. So there are 3 active users. For example on 3rd, if you see on 3rd, we have this much. User ID 3, 4, 5, right? 4 is twice, 5 is twice, but total distinct users are 3, right? So there will be 3 active users. So this is how we have to do. So this we can do simple group by event date. If I do count 1, will it will find, let's see. by event date also i have put in description box insert a statement create a statement you can try yourself also right so if you see there are five users coming that is the problem because we are just taking count so instead of count we should take distinct user id because on the same day there can be two activities from a user and then it will be counted as two so if i do distinct user id i am getting the required output so this was straightforward Let's move on to the second question. Second question is also very similar to this. Instead of daily, they won't find total active users each week. Right? So what do they mean by each week? So how week is defined? Let's see. So we have this activity. Select start from activity. Right? Now week starts from Sunday till Saturday. Sunday to Saturday. So we have to see first that which days these dates are falling so i will do date part and i will see which is the week week of event date right and if i run this so first was saturday so first is the first week if you see and everything else is falling in the second week right so i just have to do group by on week instead of event date If I run this, I will get the output. On the first week, there were three active users. On the second, there were five active users. This is also, I think, clear. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, so this is a good question, actually. So they are saying, tell me date-wise, total number of users each day who made the purchase same day they installed the app, right? So they are users who installed the app and purchased 
on the same day like usual 4 5 6 are like that if you see usual 4 third third usual 5 also on third installed purchase and 6 also no one else has done that this is fun 3 this is only one and this is one and two right so this is an interesting question so what we have to do we have to see which users have done the both things on the same day so what i am going to do i will say user id and event date i will see on this combination how many distinct activities i have if i do distinct event name right as number of events so by let's take both the columns so we saw 4 5 6 have two activities right so if you see 4 5 6 on third and fourth they have two two activities So if I put this filter, that if this count of distinct event name equal to two, I will get the output, right? So let me put this in having clause. So this is an aggregation filter. I can put in the having clause, having equal to two, right? Now if I run this, I will get only these three records. And on top of it, I can run my query. Select. I want for each event date, how many user ID are there? as number of users right from this i can create a ct or use as it is so if i run this and i have to do group by again because on event date i want count if i run this i got these two these two dates and two users here and one here but the problem is i am not getting for first and second i want zero records also because i want to see these rows also now because i have put this filter those dates are not coming at all so what i can do so there are multiple ways of doing it i can create a master table where we have all the dates okay master sub query and do a left join with that but i am going to do as some other thing what i will do i will just comment out this having clause just just focus here and instead of this having clause i will put this in a case statement okay so i will remove this also count distinct is not required and i am going to say case when count distinct event name equal to 2 then user underscore id else null and as let's say new user something i'm putting some random name okay now i will run inner query now and you see what is happening here so if you see for everything else it is coming null only when there were two activities for the user on a event date it is coming as user id now what i can do simply i can simply do group by event date and in the outer query instead of count of user id i can say count of new user right now here i have not filtered anything at all because having and where are used to filter i just i'm not using because i want all the event dates i have just put in the case statement so if i run this now we got the required output 1 and 2 0 0 and for 3 2 4 1 that's what we were looking at right i hope this is clear this is very important thing when you have to get all the rows is respective they are uh, qualifying having clause or not okay so let's move on to the next question So next question is percentage of paid users in India, USA, and any other country should and any other country should be tagged as others. So what do we mean by that? So first thing is percentage of paid users, right? So how I will find the paid users? Paid users means who have done a purchase. So simply I will say where event name equal to a purchase, right? so first i will filter all these users once i have filtered these users i have to find what is the distribution so for example if you see there are two users from india right so out of all the users there are five users who have 
done a app purchase out of five two are from india two out of five is 40 percent right now there is one user from usa one out of five is 20 percent and india pakistan we have to tag them as others and this contributes 40 percent of paid users so this is how we want output so first of all i want to find country wise how many users are there so this is simple country count of distinct user id from activity right so if i do this uh sorry group by is missing group by country okay so we have total two from india one from pakistan one from sri lanka and one from usa now the thing is pakistan sri lanka we have to tag as others so what i am going to do I will say case when country in USA or India, right? Then take it as it is. Then country as take it as others, right? And as let's say new country i am saying right what i am saying if country is in us india then take it as us india only otherwise everything else will fall into others now i will put this statement in group by also because i have to group by this only so group by this and if i run this now we have got india to others to usa one so this is fine now next what we need we need total customer uh, total customers also right when i get total so i can do just divide 2 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 and 1 divided by 5 so let's create a city select sorry with country wise users as this Okay, now total users, I will take total as if I do select sum of, sum of, let's give it a name as user count. Okay, so from here I can do sum of user count and it will give me 5, right? Sum as total users. I hope this is clear from country users I can take right if I say select star from total it will give me total count also 5 right it is giving me 5 so I got 5 from here and and from here what I got I got the distribution also so I just have to divide and get it right so select star from country users comma total so if I run this I will get all the columns so 2525 five, just what I have to do I have to divide it I will take country new country comma user count divide by total users right because there is only one row in this table i don't have to give a joining key right and there is no joining key as such and i want all the all this row to join with everything else so it is kind of cross join and i'm not giving any condition okay as percent users now what it will give it should give me 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.2 right but there is a problem i have told this in previous videos also when you divide integer by integer the sql will give you integer only so 0 0.2 is 0 0 0.4 everything is 0 so to convert it into decimal i can just multiply it by 1.0 you can cast also you can do anything right but for now i am just doing it and we got 0 0.40, 0 0.40, 0 0.20 and I can just do multiply by 100 to get the percentage. Right, I hope it was clear.
so i got the answer so this is my fourth question done now let's move on to the last question so last question is this this is a tricky question okay what it is saying among all the users who installed the app on a given day how many did in purchased on the very next day okay so day wise we have to see how many users who purchased who installed yesterday have purchased today so for example let's say on the first on the first if you see there is no previous day on the first right so there will be always zero because there was no previous day customer who installed and purchase today so it will be zero now let's see on second so if you see on second okay this user id 1 purchased the app and he installed just previous day itself right he purchased the in the app on the second and he installed on first so this user qualifies on the second of january and that's why we have a count 1 right on any other date there is no such instance let's see third on the third if you see this guy uh on the third this guy purchased on third but installed on first so there is a gap of two days but we want to see only one day gap that yesterday he installed the app and today he purchased so this guy is not qualifying because there is a gap of two day and these guys have done same day so they are also not qualified so only this user is qualified where he installed the app on given day and in the next very next day he purchased okay so how to do it so this kind of question i have explained in another video i have tag i will tag that video but let's do it in more intuitive way in this video so what i am going to do so i will check for each user on the previous day what he has done so for that i will use a lag function so lag just see how i am doing and then you will understand okay lag of i want on the previous day what was the event event name lag of one means just previous row i want to see so for this this row the previous row is this right because i am going to order by event date and partition by user so over partition by user underscore id order by event underscore date and by default it will be ascending i don't have to put as previous event name so it will give me previous day what was the event similarly i will get what was the previous event date right so i will do lag of event date as previous event date so this will give me now on particular day i can check what was the event and what was the event name and date on the previous day if you see for this user there was nothing on the previous day right now for this row previous day just on the first previous row basically right previous row the event name is app installed and event date is first so we got this now if you see for this user previous row previous row for this user this app installed and previous event date is first right so event date is third and previous event date is first so what we have to do i will just do with prev data as to select star from web data here i need to say on the given event should be the today's event the event name should be equal to app purchase right and prev event name right prev event Name. So previous day, this guy should have installed the app. So prev event is this, and now this is important. And 
the difference between this event and previous event date should be one, right? So I will use date diff function. I want differencing days. My first day is prev event date. And today's date is event date. Okay, should be equal to one. So if I run this now, it is prev data. Okay. So if you see, we have got only one user here. That's what we discussed, right? Only one user on the second has today's event is event purchase, previous event is app installed, and today's and yesterday's, I mean previous rows event date has only difference of one because we want to check very next day user has done it, right? So what I can do now, I can simply say event date. comma count of distinct user underscore id as count of users and i will get the required output event date my bad Uh, something we are missing. Okay, group by is missing. Group by event date. Okay, so we got on the second there is one user. But again in this question you see these records are not coming. I want 0, 0, 0. Previously also we missed this part, right? Now I want you to change this query in the similar way, whatever we had done, right? Instead of where you have to convert into case and comment in the comment section and let me know if it works. Otherwise I will put in the comment box, but I think you should be able to get it if you, if you have got the previous one. Please try and comment and do like the video. I hope this was exciting user study and it will help you. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and like the video. Take care. Bye.